So it'll be interesting to see where does this sit in amongst the others, other lagers. We're talking, we're talking Hertog, we're talking Jupiler, we're talking Left Lalagra, talking Spaten, Lowenbrow, there's some belters. Well, hello there, perfect drafters. How the devil are we? Hope we're well. What have we got in? I did a poll about two weeks ago. Should I have the Club Tropica or the Bex Gold? It's the latter. It is the Bex Gold. That's what's in. It's a bit blurry, I know, in the background. But I have had a few of them. Not just before recording this, could do, but no. I've had a few of them over the past few days. I just have. I'll come on to why that is a little bit later. But basically, I've got the Bex Gold in. I'm gonna give it a little review. Gonna have some snackage. But first of all, let's talk about a bit of Bex Gold. So it is from the German city of Bremen, um, and it is the Bex Brewery. That's what it is. That's where it's from. Now, I was, back in the day, a bit more of a lager drinker. And yes, you know, Bex was such a kind of common bottled drink, especially when you'd had a few and I was young enough to hit the dance floor and you was allowed a bottle, a glass bottle on a dance floor. <laughs> you were. You were allowed that at one time. It was easier to hold a bottle on the dance floor. So pulling the moves that old Baldy did Basically, I found it easy with a bottle. So that's what I had. It's easier than a pint sloshing all over the shop. I had bottles of Bex back then. I weren't keen on them, but I think it was the best bottle available. It was kind of before Corona came along. I had Corona when that came in, bit of lime in the top of it, and I enjoyed that more. Bit of a lighter drink, crisper. I was never a massive fan of Bex out the bottle. That said, I preferred it to Budweiser. And you will notice, if you look over the back catalogue of Perfect Draft Reviews, I haven't reviewed the Budweiser. And there's a good reason for that. I don't like it. I don't like Budweiser out of a bottle. I still will go for it. I'll get a keg. Because Budweiser is one of those funny ones that you very rarely see, in this country anyway, on draft. And I have had it a few times off draft, and I think it was a bit better. So I will give it a go out of the keg. Um, let me know if you've tried it and if you think I should give it a go. But I've never had a Bex Gold, so I don't know how this differs to the standard original Bex. And like I say, I only ever had that out of the bowl. So this one is 4.9%. Uh, obviously, a standard 6-litre keg. It is one of the cheaper ones at £30.50. So... Pretty good value. And if we have a quick look on the Big Bold Reviews website, if we have a look at it with no discount at all, you're looking at around £2.90 a pint. But full on whack with a discount, you know, you're 15% off, your keg returns, all in discounts on it, works out at below just the £2 marker. So that's pretty good. In terms of calories, we're looking at 236 a pint. But anyway, doesn't matter about the calories because it's going to fire down a load of snacks with it as well. But not one of the most fattening of beers either. Without further, let's have a look at the keg. Let's do the pour. I haven't got a Bex glass, so I pulled out a Magic Rock brewery glass because it's a bit different. Fire it in that. Let's have a look at the colour, what it looks like, how many bugs we've got. Give it a taste. I'll let you know what I think. And then... I'll fire into a bit of snackage. Let's go. So there we have a Bex Gold, 4.9 percenter, like I said. Got a key, no idea what that's about. Unlock the taste of Bex Gold. Just made that up for them. 1873, been around, been around. Bex and Co, just a bit of a golder look to it, isn't it? Like the normal kind of Bex green background and stuff like that obviously isn't there. It's just been replaced with a bit of a yellower background for the gold. They've not gone wild on it. 
but it is the Bex Gold. Let's give it a sup. I have had a few from it already. We're down to the 27 days, so I better get a move on. Let's get it poured. So there she is, not unhappy with that. Let's bring her in. So here she blows, lovely white head. Um, very clear looking, very clear indeed. Got some slow moving bubs going up. They are, look, see them. Like I say, here's the magic rock glass. Got some smiley faces on it, little monster fellas. Got some eyes. Nothing to do with this. Anyway, that's Lebex gold. That's the colour of it, a golden colour. Let's give it a taste. Right, let's sippy suppy sue. Here we are. Here we are. Right, I did give it a little top up as I rejig the old uh, camera set up. And I did spot it, lost its head pretty quick, got to be honest. Um, as you can see now, a little bit of a thinner head just there. Um, still some bubs, not massively fizzy. It's not bubtastic, but um, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see where does this sit in amongst the others, other lagers. We're talking, we're talking Hertog, we're talking Jupiler. We're talking left Lalagra, talking Spaten, Lowenbrow, there's some Belters. I've reviewed all of them. So where does this sit in amongst those? Have I missed any Belters out? Obviously I've had a Stella, but I didn't review it. So I will have to go back to that one day and review. There's the Oktoberfest versions of said Spaten and Lowenbrow. Am I missing any? Am I missing it? The Hasroda one, again, didn't review it, but have had it. Where does this sit? Gold. Always believe in your soul. Gold, gold. Always believe in your soul. Better, better stop that, otherwise YouTube will be thinking that I've uh, played the actual track. <laughs> Maybe not. Anyway, cheers people. Let's give it a go. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Straight off the bat, I'm going to say I prefer that to Bex out of a bottle. I do. Don't go grabbing a Bex out of a bottle, not liking it, and then not trying this. Doesn't do this justice. It's a different drink. You can get Bex gold out of a bottle. I've seen it. I haven't had that. Bound to be more carbonated. This is very slow moving carbonation in here. So if that bottle is a bit more carbonated, but you're a little bit more keen on the taste, well worth a blast. Smoother, definitely smoother and almost a bit fuller, even though it is a light beer than Bex out of a bottle. Less tinny. You know, I've always found Bex had a bit of a, a metallic taste to it. This doesn't seem to have that. No bad aftertaste. It's not got the bitterness that you think or associate to German beers. Um, it's 
It's good. I like it. I don't mind the aftertaste one bit. It's not offending anyone. I've said it before about another one that it's just not going to offend anyone. I think it probably was the Hertog, or it could have been the Jupiler. Um, this, along with those, is offending no one. It's a very, very easy drink to have. And I have kind of reset myself, thought, you know, I'm going to give an impression like I've not had it before. I have. You know, I've had this from the keg now for a few days. And the reason why half a keg has gone is because I am doing the bar build and I have been a bit thirsty and I've cracked into it. Because it is an easy drink. Very easy drink. You could have several of those. What was it? Was it was it 4.9? You know, a little bit less than your Stella on there. Although, you know, the same as probably, what is it, 4.8 now, Stella, in cans and stuff. It has lost its head a bit, you know, and not that much lacing as it's going down the glass. So I've seen better, but... But it's not awful. It's not awful at all. Very easy drinking. I've said it for many of them before. You got a barbecue on the go. Nice hot summer's day. The three degrees hits this very nicely. That, that goes down a treat. Where would I sit it? Where am I going to sit your gold? I mean, like I say, there are some belters on there. And you've got to compare it to other lagers, other pilsners. You've got to say it is in direct competition with your Hertog and with your Jupiler. Got to say it. It's, it's challenging them, but it's not beating them. For me, Hertog is still there. It's still the better one. Then Jupiler, then this. That's what I'm going to say. It does concern me around the normal standard Bex because I've not had that keg yet and I just don't think it's going to be as good as this. So that doesn't entice me to buy the Bex keg. But yeah, not awful, don't get me wrong. I did have the Hasroda and I prefer this to that. Gotta say, I think I prefer this to the left, Lalagra. I do. The reason for that is quite simple. I just, if I want that left twang, I don't want it in a lager. If you're after that, just get a left blonde. It's quite dry afterwards, this. It is quite dry. You know, crisp, but yeah, quite drying. Anyway, I'll come back to that, give it a grading after I've had some snackage. Right, so I'm on a bit of a, a sensations sensations journey I guess at the Thai sweet chili sensation nuts the other day I can't remember what beer I was reviewing but I also did do a street mix this is also a street mix but it's a different type this is inspired by Mexico City sensations street mix Mexico City tortilla sticks Mexican style nuts Roasted and salted beans, chili crackers. Right, so that's what you get. Like I said on the last time I had some of these street mix, they're not cheap. I think it was around 250. Yeah, you know, they weren't on offer. So the crunchy corn tortilla stick, that's there. Um, ba -da -ba -da so I'm not sure how spicy these are gonna be, but I'm about to discover a mix inspired by the delicious flavors and aromas of Mexico City's vibrant street food. From crunchy tortilla sticks to tasty chili crackers, take your senses on a journey of exciting tastes and textures. Let's have a go. Easy to open, an obvious tear mark. That's always a winner. So I'm seeing a nut, I'm seeing a cracker, I'm seeing a stick. So a good combination of stuff or where, don't know how to hold that stuff up to you. But there's like a little kind of, it looks like a cornflake. Not sure what that is. It does look like a cornflake. There's nothing that looks like that on the back of the packet. 
I think that could be rogue. It's a bit of a rogue snack. Anyway, well, there's a nut. There's a stick. There's a cracker. Let's bang them all in. Let's go combo-tastic. Mmm. Not bad at all. They're all right. Let's go a bit separate. Here's a stick. Crunchy. Drying. Almost like a bit of a spicy, tangy twiglet, but with a bit, bit of moisture. Not going to sap yourself dry just from sticking a twig down your face. Good crackers. I like the crackers. Yeah, the chilli crackers with a hit of warming spice. They're good. And the nut. Mm. Crispy coated Mexican style nuts. I like them. They're a bit Thai sweet chilli sensation type nuts, which I love. They're okay. There's nothing wrong with them. And I think they're going to go well with this Bex Gold. I'm not wrong. That's a winner with them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's have some gradage. Let's have some gradage. Now, I think I gave the Hertog, I think I gave that like a nine. It is a quality beer, quality beer. And if I didn't, I probably should have done. I know I gave the Spate an eight. I know I gave the Oktoberfest versions of Low and Brow and Spaten a nine. So I'm gonna go in for this Bex Gold, considering those other marks, I'll tell you what I've just thought of. I'll tell you what I've just thought of. Tenants. And what did I give tenants? I gave tenants like a 7.5. That's a killer, isn't it? Blimey. You see, what I've done there is I've graded myself out of the game because I gave tenants a 7.5 and spade an 8. This is better than Tenants. It's not as good as Spaten. In my opinion. Wow. So what do I do there? I don't feel I can go in between. I mean, half marks are a bit of a cop-out. I'd probably have to downgrade the Tenants to a 7, pop this in a 7.5, and a spate and an eight. That's what I'd have to do. But I feel bad, you know, downgrading a beer after the fact. So I am going to go a bit weird markage, and I'll give that a 7.8. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I've done it. So there we go. That's where it sits amongst the other beers. Hopefully that helps if you've had some of those other beers of where you might sit this yourself. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, and you have got to consider the price factor, yeah, because that is quite a good value beer. It really is. Uh, under With all the discounts and stuff, at uh, just under £2 a pint, you're not going wrong there. And like I say, if you've got a few friends around and stuff for a barbecue, they're not disliking you because you served that up. Not one bit. Yeah, it's good. It's good. That... 7.8, bit of a weird score, but that's life. Those, those, how am I holding that up? Don't want to put this down. Those, those I'm going to give, those I'm going to give an 8. I think they're good. They're not, I don't think they're quite as good as the other street mix. I'd rather have a full bag of Thai Sweet Chili Sensation nuts. I would. But they are one of my faves. They're good, though. There's nothing wrong with them. Right, so what's up next? I've got no idea. I've got to put an order in. All I've got is that Ho Garden Rosé in, in the subcold. I'm going to crack into that one. I've got a few people in the garden, and other people are going to fire a few down. So I'm going to put an order in. There are still some that I haven't tried. 
I am running out of kegs though. But let me know. I'm gonna I'm gonna save my order until about Saturday, just after this video. So give us a comment. Tell me what I should get. Have a look in the playlist. Because if you have a look in the playlist, you'll see all of the kegs that I've reviewed. So obviously don't suggest one that I've done before. If you like the video, give it a like. Always helps. Always good. Comment. Let me know. What do you think? What do you think I should have next? What do you think? If you've tried the Bex Gold, give us a comment. Have a look at the Big Bold Reviews website. I didn't say anything about it in the last video. Don't know why. Um, but it's had quite a few people now grading the different kegs. You know, you can drag and drop them about. So do that. Have a go. Um, Goose IPA is at the numero uno slot. That's right up there. Not surprising. It's a belter. That said, Crew Republic's back in stock now. That's back in. So the more people that try that, the goose could topple. That's my thoughts. That's just my thoughts. But subscribe if you haven't done already. But most important, people, the sun is shining. <laughs> the sun is shining. The sky is blue. And the pubs are open. <laughs> yes, they are. So as much as I love the perfect draft, obviously, with the amount of uh, videos that I've done on it, let's get out there and support those local pubs. They've had a hard old year. Let's get down there. Have a pint. Don't go comparing it to your perfect draft. Go and enjoy it in a social atmosphere, albeit distanced. But still, you're in a pub, garden. And if the sun's out, enjoy it. I hope you have a few beers with a few mates. I hope you have a cracking weekend. Enjoy, people. Until next time, cheers, perfect drafters. Cheers.